don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. What the hell, Tom? Don't you have kids you're supposed to be putting through school? Why are you buying more Transformers? Don't we have enough already? And he's another Prime, too. What the hell's the matter with you? Ah, Spinster! Poof! Hello there, everyone. This is Tom, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the perfect effect Perfect Combiner PC-17, the Core Magnus. Now, I've been waiting on this for quite some time, and I am very pleased to have it. So, uh, box, box, words and things, product shots, all good. Okay, so, let's tear this bad boy open and take us a look and see what we get here. Empty box. And here's Magnus in his little plastic prison. He comes with, I think they're calling those jazz hands. Uh, I appreciate them, but I will never ever use them. Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. His gun fell out. He does have a weapon, and it is basically an Optimus weapon. It's got a little gunmetal paint right there. Uh, that's about it. Okay, we'll set that to the side. He comes with instructions. And opening this up. Again, I will I will never ever use these. So yeah, they can just stay in their little plastic prison forever. I have, I, what what use are those? I mean, I, I guess somebody can have a good use for them, but I, I just, I don't, I don't have one. Let's see here. So, <clears throat> here is Core Magnus, and I've already got a, an Autobot symbol on him, because I've already pulled him out, and I've already played with him a little bit, and uh, determined that I do kind of like him. Let's see here. Size comparison wise, in this form, he is coming up to six and a half, very close to the top of his head crest. From shoulder to shoulder, as you know, that's how I measure. He's coming in at three and a quarter. If that comes off on camera correctly. Okay. Now, let's do some really quick size comparisons before we start getting into him. Here he is with uh, the... Megatron repaint. Ah. This is... <clears throat> this is an issue. If he has heel spurs, I haven't been able to find them. But, okay, there he stands. Uh, that's Megatron there. For, he's he was the repaint of the, was it Universe 2 Megatron? I got him for... Um, uh, during the movie, the last movie, what was it? The last night, yeah. You Classics fans? So he's a little smaller than Classics Prime, and that may not be coming off exactly on camera, but he is. Here he is for you movie fans, Bumblebee. Can't have a movie without Bumblebee, right? Or however the hell that goes. Alright, so that gives you a sense of scale there. Let's see, what else do I have here handy? Here is, here he is with MP10, and obviously that scale is not what they were going for. Let's see here, what else do I have handy for you Beast Wars fans? Here he is with Quick Strike. Uh, 
Here he is with an untransformed Dinobot from the Power of the Primes line. Let's see, do I have anything else relevant to compare him to? Not really. Okay, so uh, he can hold his weapon. He holds it just fine. No problem with that. All right. So, let's see. If I could just get him to stand, I'd be a happy man. Let's get in close here, and I will show off some of the details. Okay, so he's got really red, kind of blood red eyes. I mean, my arterial blood looks kind of like that. He's got this pretty little teal color right there. Uh, the windshields are nice and teal. One thing I never understood was why they had these in the front, and having had them, uh, having him in hand, I actually understand now. These are silver, gunmetal silver kind of gunmetal. You've got the teal here. This is gunmetal, uh, gunmetal, gunmetal. Again, that's that's my symbol I've placed on there from Toy Hacks. Uh, this is kind of a tannish gray plastic. Same with the hands, white plastic right here. Uh, you've got the red and the yellow on the toes. Back of the figure, you've got this red right here. More of that teal right there. Uh, and you've got some of that gunmetal right there. Yeah. And that's this figure right here. All right. So to transform this guy, here's what we do. The instructions have various different ways of doing this. Uh, well, that's not entirely correct. I apologize. The instructions show one way of doing this. There's just a couple of different ways. Uh, the biggest issue I have are the smokestacks because I have to maneuver around things. Uh, we, we push the hands up here like this. Oh, you know what? I didn't go over articulation. Before I do that, before I do the... Uh, transformation, I probably need to do the articulation. Heads on a ball joint, it goes around and comes off if you mess with it too much. <laughs> so, kind of be careful there. But it just popped back on. Up, up and down. Obviously left and right. You don't get any confused dog look. The arms are on a ball joint. You can see the ball joint right there. Goes all the way around. All the way up, elbow, a little less than 90 degrees, wrists, can do a full 360 because they're just kind of plugged in there. And then you do get this thing right here where it bends the wrist, and it's ratcheted. You could actually, I don't know if you can see it, but I can sure see it. There's a little, little bitty ratchet right in there. Anyway, yeah, we get that. Let's see here, waist swivel. 360, no problems. The hips, ball jointed. He can do the American splits just fine. And he would make a Chinese split person proud. Let's see here. Knees, uh, over 90. Feet, oh, rocker, built in on a mushroom peg right there. And the feet can go up and down. And, oh, they even, even built in a rocker. Well, so, it's a toe, it's a faux toe, however you say that, rocker. So, he can get, he can get down to, let's see here, about right there is, is as far as his feet will be flat. Okay, so, to transform this guy, pull the toes up. Uh, you know, I have to do something with these here in a, in a few minutes, but we can go ahead and pop those around like that. We're going to rotate the waist. Uh, come back here to the back, open up this flap right here. How do we open the flap up, Tom? You did it. There we go, like this. Like that. Okay. Now, this whole unit here is on a hinge. It's going to rock back, just like that. On both sides. Okay. This will come up and collapse over top of it, kind of making sure everything stays in place. I like that. Now, let's see here. 
Make sure you do it right, Tom. This comes around like this, plugs in right here. This comes around like this, and plugs in right here. The smokestacks come down, and you unplug this at the waist, rotate everything around, and like I said, there's a bit, a touch of a clearance issue there. Bring them back up, uh, fold this back together. These come around like this, and they fold in, and they fold in, and it all kind of lines up together. This comes down and plugs in right here. After you rotate this, apparently I should not have rotated it in the first place, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, the legs tab together like this. Feet come down, and you have little faux gas tanks right here that will plug in. There's a spot right here on both sides, just like this. Believe it or not, it does actually work when it's all lined up properly and it, it works. There we go. And here is Core Magnus in his vehicle mode. And in this mode, you get that pretty deal, teal detailing. He's got the spot there for the, the Prime Master, uh, you know, whatever his name was, High Q or whatever to fit on the Optimus mold, but obviously this is not it. He's got the red, he's got gunmetal, he's got gunmetal. Uh, one thing I hated about this was he's got that right there, and it's meant to blend in, but it doesn't very well. Uh, tires, details, from the back and again I put that Autobot symbol on there but yeah I figured he needed one all right so in this mode here he is with classics prime classics magnus classics magnus and you can see there he's a he's longer than the perfect effect version uh, and I'm not entirely sure which one I like better let's see here here he is next to Power of the Prime's Dinobot, if that matters to absolutely anyone. They're about the same, about the same length actually from tip to tip. So, yeah, there's that. Let's see here. Oh, here he is next to Legends Movie Bumblebee. Uh, Legends Bumblebee, a piece of crap uh, that I really just don't like much of. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, except for here's G1 gears. Just, again, sense of scale. I mean, there you go. Now, I didn't buy this to be a little Ultra Magnus. I bought, th bought this to combine with the, with the other thing. And this thing here was already in the packaging. Uh, but I've already got it on, and, and quite frankly, it was a pain in the took us, as my wife would say, to get it off. Uh, here's the original one that it came with. Yeah, and you've got to take off the original cab, which is just screwed on with this little thing right here. So once you take that off, he just falls off. His cab just falls right off, and you're left with this. Now, obviously you might say, but Tom, it doesn't look standard. I've got Shapeways missiles on him, and I also added the wheels and painted them from Shapeways. So I, I really like those. They're not for everybody, and I get that, but they were for me. So take that conformity. Yes, take it and eat it like Cheerios. Okay, let me back up just a touch here. All right, so, so, here we put that back on there, and we're going to go ahead and get this guy prepared for, is it combined mode? I don't think so, but okay, so I'm going to pull these down, we're going to untab these and put them back where they belong here, these things, we're going to rotate, how did we do this before? Can't. And I don't be that way. Oh, that's right. It's tabbed in. 
right underneath here. You gotta untab it, which is easier said than done. Then you rotate this a little bit and you pull these down. I think it's like this. You rotate it again, pull these down like that, bring this up and come in here, kind of undo some of this enough to get the door open and pull out his head. And this is the original head that comes with it, which is fine. That's just fine. And then you just push all this back together, tab it back into place. Kindly, maybe, get in there. There we go. And you're left with something that looks like this, which is just fine. There is a hook right here, which will fit right here. And this part just kind of sets in here for now. This tab right here, which is the trailer hitch, will fit right there in the back and kind of lock it all into place. Just like that. This comes down, these come up, and these fit onto little tabs right there on both sides. And here you have Ultra Magnus as a core Magnus. Now, he can, because we haven't done anything with his, uh, with his hands here, he can still kind of hold his weapon if you do it right, however that worked. Uh, I've got the pieces, as you can see, other than that one I'm missing, but uh, I'm not entirely sure where that has gone to. But I will find it eventually, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, he can still hold his weapon without any trouble. Now, one of the issues that I have, and this is solely my issue because I've added these, he cannot hold this weapon. They get in the way. He just, it's just not prepared, it's not made for that. And I haven't found a way really to get him to hold it. It just doesn't work right. However, he can plug it in here in one of these feet just like that, and so you do have storage for it. In this mode, uh, he is a little back heavy, but aside from that, he's really nice. Uh, I really like this. Let me get in here, maybe a little bit closer on that chest, so you all can see the details of this news thing. And, eh, focus, 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 there we go. So this red, this red is not represented anywhere else on him. It's just not the right red, I think. Uh, also, that burgundy color is nowhere else on him at all. So, yeah, he's okay. I, I really like him. I'm going to look at Shapeways and see if I can find a gun that'll fit with these additional pieces that I have. Because, honestly, I absolutely hated these things. I, I thought they looked horrible and I wanted a more uh, G1 missile look. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. As you can see, he fits his, this PC perfect effect thing fits the trailer just fine. It's got a little hole right there that goes right in that little plug and Plugs right in, everything rolls, he turns. He's got lots of clearance, I, I like that actually. And it doesn't really interfere all that much with transformation. Um, I'm having a hard time with this piece. It just won't go down the way the other one will, and it could just be user error, but it is what it is. But I think it looks pretty good as far as an Ultra Magnus carrying his trailer. I think that works just fine, and you know, we can haul legend stuff still. So, okay. Do, 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 do. And now, to answer the burning question on everyone's mind how does the PC 17, the perfect combiner core Magnus, scale with Metroplex? And obviously, that's the Combiner Wars. 
uh, Ultra Magnus and he's standing in front of Metroplex so I don't know if that is the real uh, comparison that everybody needed but it's the one we get so and there's Minimus Ambus okay and thank you for watching my Papa's channel please subscribe and like thank you So we're looking at another unboxing and just based on what I'm looking at from these papers and whatnot, this may be a more modern box. So we'll just take the papers aside, set them down. Here is our is uh, the cassette bots. Can you see those? The cassette bots. Here is Masterpiece Cheetor, <clears throat> excuse me. Here's Infernicus. More papers and things. Here's one of the Dinobots. That reminds me, I need to finish my Dinobot collection. Uh, what, what two was it? Grimlock and. Okay, here's Inferno. This guy, if, I, if memory serves, and Grimlock, if memory serves. I need to go through those and see if I can find them. Okay. Okay. Citizen set with trench covers. Ricus's sword, and that is a minicon arm. Okay, and here we have Soundwave. Alright, and I think that's pretty much all that's in this box right now. Uh, that thing, okay. Alright. So I am looking forward to doing another box for you all, so just be patient.